Good day! This is another day to learn. I'm Architect Ed. Recently, I've been getting requests from my English-speaking viewers from abroad. By the way, I'm in the Philippines and I'm a Filipino who is a, not a natural English speaker. But uh, since you've been asking for it and uh, for the benefit of those who do not speak Tagalog, I will do a full English content. This will be my very first time, so I hope you bear with me. In this episode, I will discuss to you how to design a practical home. Check this out. Isayan namang magandang araw para mag-subscribe sa YouTube or sa Facebook page. Designing a practical home involves considering both functionality and efficiency while ensuring comfort and aesthetics. Here are some key principles to keep in mind when designing a practical home. Functionality Prioritize functionality in every aspect of the design. Each room should serve its intended purpose efficiently with easy flow between spaces. Consider the needs and lifestyle of the occupants when planning the layout and features of the home. Number two is space planning. Carefully plan the allocation of space to ensure that each area is utilized effectively. Optimize the layout to minimize wasted space and maximize usability. Consider the size and arrangement of furniture to ensure comfortable and functional living spaces. Next is storage solutions. Incorporate ample storage throughout the home to keep clutter at bay and maintain organization. Utilize built-in cabinets, closets, shelving, and multifunctional furniture to maximize storage capacity without sacrificing space. Number four is natural light and ventilation. Maximize natural light and ventilation to create a bright, airy, and healthy living environment. Strategically position windows and skylights to optimize daylighting and cross ventilation. Consider using light colored finishes and reflective surfaces to enhance natural light. Number 5 Energy Efficiency. Integrate energy-efficient design strategies to reduce energy consumption and lower utility costs. This may include proper insulation, high-performance windows, passive solar design principles, energy-efficient appliances, and renewable energy technologies. Number 6. Accessibility Design the home to be accessible to people of all ages and abilities. Incorporate features such as step-free entrances, wide doorways and hallways, lever-style door handles, and accessible bathroom and kitchen layouts to accommodate mobility-impaired individuals. Next, we have durability and low maintenance. Choose durable materials and finishes that can withstand everyday wear and tear and require minimal maintenance. Up for easy to clean surfaces and materials that are resistant to stains, scratches, and water damage. Number 8. Indoor Outdoor Connection. Foster a seamless connection between indoor and outdoor spaces to enhance the living experience and expand usable square footage. Incorporate features such as outdoor living areas decks, patios, and landscaping that blur the boundaries between indoors and outdoors. Number 9. Flexibility and Adaptability Design the home to be flexible and adaptable to accommodate changing needs and lifestyles over time. Incorporate features such as convertible spaces, modular furniture, and adaptable infrastructure 
to allow for future modifications and expansions. And last but not the least is safety and security. Prioritize safety and security by incorporating features such as proper lighting, secure windows and doors, smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors, and home security systems. By incorporating these principles into the design process, you can create a practical home that meets the needs of its occupants while providing comfort, efficiency, and functionality. Thank you so much for watching and see you again next time. This has been your architect, Architect Ed. Take care and see you around. Bye!